Alright guys, time to go for a little drive in the GT. So, it's an automatic. We've got Tiptronic over here. We have paddles like the R32 that I used to have. Got a little boost gauge in here too, guys. It's for when the turbo kicks in. Alright guys, we are driving a Golf once again. This version is the GT, as you've probably seen already. <clears throat> now this is twin charged, so it's supercharged and turbocharged, guys. So supercharger obviously comes in straight away. When you put your foot down, you get the turbocharged kick in, and you get the little needle coming up on the boost gauge. So yeah, a little 1.4. So if you drive it around normal, be very good on petrol. If you put your foot down, not so much. <laughs> Pretty much all the same features as my R32 that I used to have. Um, but we also have some rear fog lights by the look of it. The Light switch over here, put it onto auto for the missus so she doesn't have to think about it. Um, and the gearbox is a bit different, so we do have the paddle shifts, so we'll see how they go. Got cruise control as well, so first take off from home wasn't that smooth. We're gonna head up the mountain guys. See how we go. So yeah, 1.4 litre. You guys might be able to see it but this trim down here is all cracked and bubbling in all the gulfs that we looked at last week when we finally put a deposit down on this car they all had the same thing so it's very common very easy fix too I might even be able to swap it for similar to what I had in the R32 and same with the ashtray section um, might, might get one of those for the missus for Christmas maybe all right put down picked up all right Two-litre TDI Mark V in front. Just going to cru <laughs> cruise along the road. This is uh, where I got my last beating fine from when I did the mountain run in the Forester. So I'm going to try these paddles. We can use them while you're still in drive. Ho oh, ho ho! You can hear the supercharger. That is awesome. I've never driven a supercharged car before. The first one. First little mountain drive. So once you don't touch the paddles for a while, if it yeah, it's just gone back into drive. <clears throat> so after 20-30 seconds, it goes out of sports mode and back into drive, it goes back to automatic. So if you flip it over, it goes straight to manual, supercharger. C 
six speed, same as the R32. Climate control is all the same. Very, very similar setup, guys. So all the same buttons, got your volume, got your toggle. So have a look at how much. Set a speed warning as well. Sounds so good. It even hugs the road like the R32. It's good. Picked up a good deal. It's got 124,000 on it now. Just clicked over to the 124. Um, it's 2007, so 11 year old car. It's not bad, guys. Oh, it had the little fart there. The old golf fart. Um, yeah. Obviously, she doesn't want to do any mods to it. But what she doesn't know won't hurt her, right, guys? Um, when we put the deposit down and had a quick look on the internet. Um, GFB do a diverter valve. I love that sound. So good! Motorbike. 
attraction of tourists. Get some space. Take off. <laughs> 